chapter on the command to the Imam to make the prayer brief but complete. It was narrated that Abu Mas'ud al-Ansari said, A man came to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and said, I keep away from Fajr prayer because of so-and-so, because he makes it too long for us. I have never seen the Prophet, peace be upon him, so angry in exhortation as he was that day. He said, O people, there are among you some who repel others. Whoever among you leads the people in prayer, let him be brief, for among them are the elderly, the weak, and those with urgent needs. A hadith similar to that of Hushayim, hadith number 1044, was narrated from Ismail with this chain. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, When one of you leads the people in prayer, let him make it brief, for among them are the young and the elderly, the weak and the sick, and when one of you offers prayers alone, let him pray as he likes. It was narrated that Hammam bin Munabbih said, Abu Huraira narrated to us from Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and he mentioned several ahadith, among which was, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Whenever one of you stands to lead the people in prayer, let him make the prayer brief, for among them are the elderly, and among them are the weak. And when one of you stands to offer prayers alone, let him make his prayer as long as he likes. Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, When one of you leads the people in prayer, let him make it brief, for among the people are the weak, the sick, and those who have urgent needs. Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, a similar report, as hadith number 1048, except that, instead of the sick, he said, the elderly. Uthman bin Abi al-As, a thaqafi, narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said to him, Lead your people in prayer. He said, I said, O Messenger of Allah, I have some misgivings about that. He said, Come closer. So I sat before him, and he placed his hand in the center of my chest. Then he said, Turn around. Then he placed his hand on my back, between my shoulder blades. Then he said, Lead your people in prayer. Whoever leads people in prayer, let him make it brief. For among them are the elderly, among them are the sick, and among them are those who have urgent needs. And when one of you offers prayer alone, let him pray however he wishes. Uthman bin Abi al-As said, The last instruction that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, gave me was, When you lead the people in prayer, make the prayer brief for them. It was narrated from Anas that the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to make his prayer brief yet complete. It was narrated from Anas that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, was one of those whose prayer was brief yet complete. It was narrated that Anas bin Malik said, I have never prayed behind any Imam whose prayer was more brief yet more perfect than that of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. It was narrated that Anas said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, would hear the crying of a child with his mother when he was offering a salah so he would recite a short surah. It was narrated that Anas bin Malik said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, I start my salah intending to make it long. Then I hear the crying of a child, so I make it short because of his mother's distress. <laughs>